What's up, everybody? Jeremiah here. Man, armor God. A uh, little nugget of truth, we're calling it. So we're going to wrap up with the sword of the spirit today. So I want to remind you where you are in Ephesians 6. We're going to start on 10. Remind us why we don or put on our full armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, because of that, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. So stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation. And we pick up today with the last part of that and the sword. This is in 17 and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God clearly tells us um, what the sword is. So I love that, though, that it's the word of God. Um, it tells us in Hebrews 12, 4, 12, that the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So, man, in that, the spirit, back to that, 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Spirit there literally in the Greek means the Holy Spirit. So when you take up your sword, take up the Holy Spirit. I bet that's a game changer in regards to how you... Um, Utilize your offensive weapon. So the word, the word of God, that's rhema in the Greek. So the word of God is the spoken word, the word of God. And we just talked about how it's living and active, man. That's how it's so it can penetrate anything. That's how it can um, do exactly what it set out to do because it's living and active. God's word is living and active. So it's applicable to every circumstance that we're in. Um, everything we might face, everything that we're up against. If we dig into the word... And get, get our sword um, drew up or drawn up in the Holy Spirit, in the rhema and the word of God, then we can apply it. We can apply it and then we become um, um, really an effective warrior, but not an offense or an offense to others. So what's cool about that is, is we take up the sword of the Spirit and um, I guess... What I'm trying to say is we be, we can be able to utilize it when we are fully, fully um, applying the Holy Spirit in our lives. Tapping into the power of the Holy Spirit and using our word, the rhemas that God speaks to us in our personal space. Um, those words we get from the Lord. So apply them, pick up your sword and get after it. Use it the right way. That's what the Holy Spirit, that's the game changing part of that. So we love you guys. Knuckle up. And we are wrapping up the armor of God today. We'll see where God leads us um, for the nugget of truth later. Love you guys. Happy Easter.